Hello, my algebra students. I hope life is going good. Notice we only have class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. We do not have class Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. And also notice uh, that if something goes on to where you're having a problem, email me. Your cat eats your computer. Uh, your little brother wants to warm up so he sits on your computer that th thinks it warms him up. Uh, your internet goes out. So as soon as that happens, as soon as you can, email me. I know you can't do it Why the internet's out, but <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, do it. We can do something. If you got a zero on the last quiz, I just uploaded grades. Uh, tell me. Uh, email me. We'll do something. We'll work something out. But don't just let it go. Things happen in life. I understand that. Be glad to help you if you tell me what's going on. Now, also, uh, Wednesday we're having an extra credit quiz, so it's optional. The school emailed me and said they did a survey, and the kids are asking if we can have things due uh, in the late afternoon. So assume everything from now on is due at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So, uh, tomorrow at the end of the video, I'm going to give you the uh, optional extra credit. You don't have to do it. And it'll be due Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Then you will have nothing to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Nothing. Anyways, uh, hey, I'm really impressed with the grade. So keep it going. Here's three problems. Freeze the computer, do them, and then turn me back on. Okay, so this one. You can have a radical on the bottom, so I'm going to simplify. Multiply the top and bottom by square root of 6. So it'll be 10 square root of 6 over the square root of 36, which is 6. Then there's no plus or minus, so I can reduce this by 2. This one... Uh, let's reduce before we start. This would be the square root of one half. But if I have a fraction, I can do square root of one over square root of two, which is one over square root of two. But I can't have a radical in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by square root of two. So it'll be square root of two over two. Then this last one. We multiply by 5 plus square root of 3 over 5 plus square root of 3. By the way, I'm going to pause just because I remember something. If possible, always send your stuff through Schoology. It's just so much easier for me than it's all together. If possible, I know things happen. Well, anyways... Multiply, so 1 times that, good. And then 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times square root of 3 is 5 square root of 3. This is minus 5 square root of 3. Let's do this. Ooh, that's so much brighter. And then, uh, 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 where am I? Minus square root of 3, square root of 3 is minus square root of 9. So 5 plus square root of 3 over uh, 5 square root of 3 minus 5 square root of 3 is 0. That drops out. Ooh -hoo. Uh, Square root of 9 is 3. So 25 minus 3 is 22. You got all three of those? Good job. So tomorrow at the end of the video, uh, we're going to do an uh, extra credit quiz. Not due till Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Now... Notice if you call someone up or email someone and ask them to uh, give you the answer. Oh, that's cheating. So, and it just churches. You get higher, higher math. It'd just be more confusing. But, anyways, today I thought we would uh, skip one section since we're so close to Easter. And spend three days on this and then go back to it next week. So we have Thursday, Friday, and Monday off. So five-day weekend here. This is called the quadratic formula. 
It's for solving equations that are in this form. They're called quadratics. Highest power is 2. Now, you need it all on one side equal to 0. Now, junior year, you'll actually come up with this formula. <clears throat> but instead of factoring, you can do this. Now, factoring only works with some problems. This works with all of them. Now, the first step is to remember this. So I'm going to sing one of my songs to get you to remember it, and then tomorrow I'll do the other song. But here we go. It's, here is negative b. Here is negative b. Plus or minus square root. Plus or minus square root. b squared minus 4ac. b squared minus 4ac. All over 2a. All over 2a. Oh my goodness, that's pretty good. Let's do it together. Now you do it with me. I'll sing the first part, you sing the second part. Here is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Boy, you guys got a good song, good singing voice. Now, we're only going to do one problem today. No homework. Oh, my goodness. How could that be? You're going to go out and tip over cop cars. You're so much time. So, the A is the number that we're multiplying to X squared. B is the number we're multiplying to X. C is our constant, where it doesn't have a variable. Now, some people don't do this. I recommend it. Seems like it makes life easier. A would be 1. B would be negative 7, and C is 2. So, let's plug or chugger. Opposite of B, B is negative 7. The opposite would be 7. Plus or minus the square root of B squared. Minus 4AC. So, that would be 4AC all over 2A. 2 times 1. So let's simplify. 7 plus or minus the square root. Now, uh, anytime you square, it's positive or 0. So 49 minus 8 all over 2. So that would be 7 plus or minus the square root of 41 over 2. Now, if we had to use that in the real world, you'd have to get a calculator and approximate that. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're only doing one today, and then tomorrow that's all we're going to do is review our quadratic formula, show you the little different things. Now, here's a tip. While you're watching the video, you might want to take notes. Looking at it, you're going to forget it very soon, where if you have notes, you can look at it again, um, if you need to. And by writing, it helps you remember. But anyways, hey, have a good day. Extra credit tomorrow. Life is good.